What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This fired immediately. I clicked the join button, and then here we were in the draft. I don't know what to take in this format anymore. I tried like a blink deck. I tried a Marari's Wake deck with a bunch of... What was in that deck? There's some kind of theme, right? Anyway, I don't know what... I don't even know what's good. Do I just take a Consider or, or a Mana War? This costs five mana. <coughs> Much as I love Urza's cards, let's go to the game. Five mana is a, is a bit much. You guys, you guys are just watching me talk about the cards while well, the little screen was up. So, and yeah, I guess we're just crossing our fingers that we don't we don't crash or blue screen because the first iteration of OBS that came up did not give me hope. I'm gonna take Mana War. I'm gonna take a good little jelly. God, Prophet of Crufix was really good against us. What if Night Pack Ambusher comes back too? I also like Flame Tongue Kavu. That guy's really sweet. So these are these are some questions. These are some questions we have. Prophet seems really good. Let's take a Prophet and we'll lean into that. Multani, recoil. I do like a recoil. It does put us into that. What that was that color combination called? I forgot. You know the cool one. What's it called? Ah, oh, dang. Master of the Wild Hunt, decent. Multani, recoil. These keep us on color. I kind of like Master here. I'm gonna take the Master. <clears throat> oh look, it's that Omnath that beat the shit out of us multiple games in a, in a single draft. So I'm gonna take it, and I will be the one. I'll be the one who who Omnaths. I think I did the captain. I did the look at me. I'm the captain now, and I also did the I'm the one who knocks. I'm the one who captains now. So you know, mixing my metaphors. Hornet Queen. I do like a good Hornet Queen. I like a Wood Elves almost better, though. But. Pivot now or Ruid. <laughs> I think saying Ruid is pretty funny. We already have a 7 drop. I'm going to take the Wood Elves because it not only gets us to 7, but it fixes our mana if we get like a uh, Scalding Tarn, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's like probably one of the best cards. I love Acidic Slime, but I'm going to take this Tarn. It lets us cast all of these things that we have. I think the Meg 2 movie will go down as the greatest motion picture ever. It's possible. I've seen the trailer, not the trailers, but like the ads for it, so, which means they probably have a pretty solid marketing campaign because I've seen multiple ads for it. And um, it actually kind of frightens me a little bit. As someone who's scared of deep water, having a shark just come out of the water and like, you, you know, when these people are paddling away, they're not going to make it. You're like, there's no way you're literally dead. It's interesting to see situations where people are are dead seconds or even minutes before it happens. You're like, you're already gone. Doesn't matter. Electric Sea Dew. <laughs> oh, Super Fritz, you beautiful bastard. So we're just waiting for uh, our next booster pack. It says that. It says as much. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that Twitch has not stopped moving. <clears throat> By Twitch, I mean OBS, of course, and <clears throat> Magic Online and the internet. There's so many points of failure. So many possible points of failure. Invasion of Ikoria, huh? If we get to nine mana, we can grab that Omnath. I think I just want to play the invasion. Because literally all of these other lands are not our colors. We are just trying to get boosty, you know? Uh, 
Oh man, it makes me sad. The only card in here worth taking is is Boon Seder. This is like a literal Abzan pack. That's kind of funny. I'll take the Boon Seder because again, it is a card, but not the best. Flooded Grove. I like a good Grove. You know, even if it is flooded, I don't think less of it because of that. Again, pretty pretty unimpressive hand, but maybe Sprouting Goblin is decent. Three mana. Get a free land out of it. Sure, what the hell. Oh man, I do like a Doran. <clears throat> Boy, these packs are really Abzani. Wow, these packs are really Abzani. This is just a This is just a poop pack. Four mana to deal one damage to a, a creature. Who's got the time, man? <clears throat> this guy got persist though. Whatever, I'll take this stupid thing. Wow, these packs are really Abzani. Wow, these packs are really Abzani. Okay, well, only seven cards and two lands. I guess that's not terrible. I do love this fat daddy. That's very tempting. Oh, yeah, Niv Mizzet EOT. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, hello, my dear. Oh, I like an Escape to the Wilds as well. That's exciting. Babe, what do you think about Escape to the Wilds? <clears throat> Cloud Thresher. None of these other cards are exciting. No opinions. <laughs> fair. Fair. I, I understand. It's only creatures, right? You may cast creatures as though they had flash. Sure. So I can't be cast an escape at the end of the turn. Not like you want to, because you want that double land, so. Hmm. <laughs> this actually, this Garrick actually did a bunch of work the other day. <clears throat> I feel like I keep getting Reckoner Bank Buster. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a, maybe it's a trap. I kind of just want this Garrick, to be honest. I think it's actually very good. It's removal in a format with very little real removal. <clears throat> and it's not, it's not even real removal. It's kind of like just removal. It's like a lightning bolt, you know? And then you got it. It's a four mana lightning bolt if you're actually dealing three and taking three. Dream Root Cascade. That seems perfect because we don't have much fixing yet. I do want to get something that can be searched for with this guy. Have you considered becoming a gymnast? It's where the money at. I wish I didn't reveal that. Now everyone will want to compete with me. You know what? 
between you and me, your gymnast dream is safe. I will not go after that sweet gymnast money. I do like a desertion. Oh, yeah, let's see that pug. Let's see that sweet-ass pug. Oh, my God. He, he is adorable. He slash she. She? I believe it's a she. <clears throat> she is adorable. So my mnemonic that I use for spay and neutering is neutering starts with an N. And that is close to the M, right next to it, for male, in the alphabet. So I know spay is for female dogs, and neuter is for male dogs. I'm sure Katie's laughing at that. Tyga is exactly what we want, by the way. That's a fantastic pickup. Well, because there's no, like, when you hear spay and neuter... Like for me in my brain, I don't think, I don't think there's any real connection to either word to the sex. At least for me, there's not. I'm sure if you know the entomology of the words, uh, that's, that becomes less true. Like if you know the, you know, if you know the process of spaying and the process of neutering and like, <clears throat> I don't know. N is also for nuts and that's actually really, that's probably better. I guess for me, there there are different surgeries, and these pertain to the parts. So it's the name of the surgical procedure. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. I don't have that same. That's exactly what I mean. Like I don't have the same point of reference. So for me, I'm just like I know a, a boy dog gets one, and a girl dog gets another. What's which one is which? Look at these packs, man. Actually, Ghostly Flicker might not be too bad with Man of War, Wood Elves. And that's it, you know? But there's really nothing else to take anyway, so. I kind of like Pyroblast. We could take Briar Bridge, but... God, we're going into pack three and we only have 12 cards. That last that last pack, we probably should have been Abzan. I'm going to have to take a, a real playable here. Yeah, I'll take a Cloud Thresher. <clears throat> I don't actually dislike Cemetery Illuminator. It's actually proven to be pretty decent. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Uh, none of these are exciting, but I will take a briefcase. Pelucranos is playable for us. Sure, what the hell? Spider spawning is still not playable. Much to Brian David Marshall's dismay, I'm sure. So it's funny, because <clears throat> when I was in high school, um, a geology teacher told me about a mnemonic for stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites cling tight to the ceiling. Stalagmites, you might trip on them. And to this day, I've never forgotten it. Very effective. Extremely effective mnemonic, and I really appreciated it. <sighs> Do I take this scroll nest in case we get an Earthcraft? Or maybe it's Lanawar Elves. I like Lanawar Elves. I already forgotten it. That's too bad. That's your loss, buddy. Because let me tell you how many times... Also, Dead Eye Navigator, which is just an absolute. Oh, T for top. And M for modem. That makes sense. I think we're taking Line of War Elves. I'd rather have I'd rather have some kind of rampy aspect than another another really expensive top end card. Ah uh, yes, Mot Top. <laughs> Meet me in Montop. Uh, I love Repulse. I'm just gonna take Repulse. It makes me it makes me happy. So it can't be that bad, you know. <clears throat> I'm gonna take Rootbound Craggles. Craggle Rock. I think everything in here so far is pretty playable. I think Beetleback Chief is a maybe. I still have this beautiful pug up here. For those watching on YouTube. Look at this handsome lady. So beautiful. She's actually adorable. That is an adorable pug. 
Ooh, Nissa Resurgent Animist? That's exciting. Is Manowar a jelly? It's just a jellyfish. It's not an ele elemental jellyfish. Yeah, still going to take that. God, I really do love Cavalier of Thorns, and there's not much else in here to take. So you know what? God, I really wish I could take this Cruel Ultimatum, and Kerwit wishes I could take this Boros Reckoner. But here we are. I think this deck is looking pretty sweet, which means we'll probably 3 Just want to be clear. Oh, a Courser of Crew Fix this late. And this fine gentleman. I'm going to take this guy. Don't say anything. Put that guy away. I don't love the double blue of Cemetery Illuminator. I don't... The problem with this cube is I don't think there's a very cohesive strategy. I think it's literally just like cards from sets. However, this is an elemental, this is an elemental, and this is an elemental, which all seem to go with Nyssa. I'm sure that was just coincidence. Maybe not. I'm going to definitely take Mystic Snake because, come on, don't be ridiculous. <gasps> Stomping Ground is great. We can get it with Scalding Tarn. Also, Rampant Growth. Actually, I kind of like Rampant Growth here a lot because we already have Taiga. Yeah, let's get Rampant Growth. Let's get busy rampant. The squirrelness came back. Curiosity as well. But we did not see Earthcraft. I might be playing Overwatch, but I saw your sin. <laughs> oh, love you. Uh, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Take God Pharaoh's gift. None of these cards are exciting. Uh, I do like Mast Vandal because we don't have a way to do that yet. That being destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Uh, Druidic Satchel, sure. It can't be that bad. Now I have the song stuck in my head. Cruel Ultimatum came back, you f fucking maniacs. <gasps> Thrag Tusk came back. That's exciting. That'll be helpful in the aggressive matchups. So I need one cut here, huh? It was Destiny. God, it really shows you just how far Thrag Tusk is. <laughs> this doesn't mean your sin is cleansed. <laughs> Am I alive? Okay, I need one cut here. One cut. I really like this. It might just be mass. Uh, Courier's briefcase actually seems like poop. We're never gonna, we're never gonna pop that dude. All these lands are good. Let's sort by Colares. <clears throat> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. That seems really low. Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to go down to 10 here. <clears throat> so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then add one more of each of these. Because we do have a lot of double red, double red. And then double blue, double blue. So 
I think it's still a little iffy, but I think we'll make it work. Oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? I will play first. Okay. We got all the colors, and that's really important. If it makes you happy, can't be the bad. <laughs> I'm just going to pass here. Two drop. Ramp of growth one time. Mm, fascinating. Okay. Well, it's not a two drop. It was not a ramp of growth. But we don't have many of those, so. That's a big fat daddy. I think we're just going to play Briarbridge Tracky here. Let's see if our opponent got that remove soul. I bet they did. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Phenomenal. <clears throat> Never don't have it. Ooh, that's a good one, though. See if they got that essence scatter. Hey, no. I didn't get bounced either, so that's wild. Oh yeah, that guy's that guy's gotta go. Hmm. I actually don't think we care as well, can we just kill it? We can just kill it with this this guy, right? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we get to attack for seven as well. That's pretty good. That's onboard removal. Ever heard of it? Oh, yeah, this is rough. Okay. <laughs> oh, Paulo Crano. Welcome to Never Doesn't Have It, starring me. Fantastic. I mean, just because you win doesn't mean they never don't have it, you know? Those can those can both be true. Uh, I think we're just going to submit. We saw three cards. We saw Remove Soul, Faithless Looting, and Talrand. And whatever else they discarded that I wasn't really paying attention to. So there's been a ton of frogs that have fallen in, fallen into our window wells. You know, like when you're in a when you're in a like a basement room, and they have those window wells that are just caved out, and then you gotta climb up to get out to the ground level. There's been like a ton of frogs that have fallen into ours. So for the past two days, me and Katie have been trying to get them out because they're really cute, <clears throat> and they're kind of being a pain in the ass about it. But it's also made me really, really want a frog now. Katie, Katie I want a red-eyed tree frog now. Because they're my favorite frog, and they have been for, for many, many years. But I don't want to, like, leave them down there because I feel like they're not going to be able to survive. So they got to go. This is the red-eyed tree frog. It's my absolute favorite frog. Oh, it's not going to open because it's a weird avif. No one knows what that is. Come on. Just save it as a normal image. Come on, this is... It's a JPEG in the in the browser, bro. Why do you like this? This guy. That's a red-eyed tree frog. They're amazing. They're they're the most they're one of the most colorful creatures I've ever seen in my life. One of my absolute favorites. And I can get him a little a little enclosure and keep him in my office. Oh, we have frog stream now, boys. <laughs> Internet culture, man. Wild. 
Okay, that guy's something. That guy can get us a God, three mana, and he doesn't put the land into play. He just puts it in your stupid hand. God, come on, buddy. I think we're just holding on to this. I don't think having a 1-3 on the board is worth losing access to that ability. God, right, Drew Frogs are so cute, man. They're just such handsome little devils. Oh, that was humongous, and it opened up in paint? Come on. Something's going on with the internet these days. Look at this guy. Look how beautiful those are, man. That guy's gorgeous. Gorgeous. They tapped out for a dragon on, huh? Okay. Doesn't come into play, right? Just puts it into your hand for three mana. Wild. Just wild. I expected more. I mean, I knew what he did. I just expected more, you know? You're better than that. You're not. There, you know, that's funny that you say that. I bet there was a red-eyed tree frog on the cover of some encyclopedia. Some digital encyclopedia back in the days of Windows 95. Oh, that guy's pretty cool. Um, we don't have a blue source we can get, though. I guess we don't need it, right? We can just ramp to five here and then go to six next turn. And we can actually correct this clue as well. Yeah, all right, sure. <clears throat> you got it. They're missing land drops. Quite a few. Faithless looty tooties. Soft and fruities. Let's just yield the end to the end step. Ooh, -wee. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. All right, let's play that. I think we just Cavalier into Omnath next turn. K R A F T. Ooh, Dream Root Cascade, huh? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Hold on, Shanala. You know what? You've earned it. How do I do it? How do I do the thing? Uh, yep, there you go. Shanala, use with great, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh, that's cool. I hit it, but it wasn't was fast enough. Also, um, feel free to post that frog again. I, I, I'm wondering if it's a real frog or if it's a meme. It's really 50-50 with you fucking guys, so... Could go either way. Alright, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it was, in fact, a fantastic frog. That guy's also really pretty. Wow. I love those colors, man. That thing is cute. I wasn't sure what to expect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. So I can cast this guy and then also play a land. This game's over. I saw some frogs at PetSmart when I went to drop the boys off. Oh, local frogs. But I'm really sad there's not a, a reptile show sooner. Oh, I wonder if I could use our Reggie tank for frogs. Our small one. I wonder if they need more vertical height, though. They might need more height. This wee Dragonauts, I guess we can just kill it next turn with a, with a Gary. We can go Gary Mast Vandal and take care of a bunch of relevant shit on their board. So that seems okay. 
The front door is sealed. Oh, it's not sealed as in like it's not going to retain humidity is what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. They do need high, high humidity. They also want, um, we might want to get like a small mister, like an automatic mister. Hey, mister. Um, well, let's play another one of these, I guess. Can we just kill them? What is this, 15? We have Gary for this, but then they still have this. But I guess they have to block at that at that point. Hmm. <laughs> what does this say? When it on and on two control dies, it deals three damage to any target. Fascinating. You got it. Did we play land? We did. So even if we draw another land off of escape, we're still only getting... Oof. That's brutal. Yeah, this guy's going to be problematic. Oh, might as well play this guy, I guess. One, two, three. Got another island. All right, let's see if we're dead. This guy's only going to trigger once, so they're going to need a spell that deals four damage to us and a way to play it. That's pretty good. So I'm glad I played the Sprouting Gobo. Oh, they're coming at us. Very aggressive. So if they block the three, they have four blockers. They can block all four of these. They take one, two, three, four. Fascinating. Oh, wait, if one of these dies, we just get... Oh, yeah, they're just dead, right? They're just dead on board? Yeah, they're Dobbs, as the kids say. They're Lou Dobbs. Yep. So now... Sacrifice a creature, this guy, get a niv miss it, and they have died. That was the game. Give him a sock because they dobby. Man, I'm just looking at pictures of blue tree, blue uh, red-eyed tree frogs. I don't know why I call them blue. It's because they got that sweet blue stripe, you know. Look how cool they are, man. They have like these orange feet, blue and yellow all down their sides and legs, green back, red eyes. Like they're so colorful, man. God, I love them. I just love them, you know. I'll keep this hand. I just love them. 
Look at him go. Yeah, look at him go. He's got a he's got an agenda. That's a frog with an agenda. You know, one of the first things I do when I want to get a new pet is I look up their lifespan. I emotionally prepare myself for how long I'm going to, until I can, until I want to be, you know, really sad. And I'm not sure if that's healthy or normal. <laughs> I don't know if other people do that. I'm like, oh, red tree frog, huh? How long was the lifespan? Five years? <sighs> Am I prepared to be really sad in five years? Oh, it's going to be rough. If I see something like 14 years, I'm like, perfect. Beautiful. Also, last day, last probably the last 24 hours to sign up for Factor, guys, if you really want to support the channel, it's a great way to do so. You get 50% off your first box, so be sure to check them out. You can find the link down in the YouTube description, in the Twitter description, the Twitch description, or in the chat. Uh, and you can use promo code Factor SE 43599 and you get 50% off your first box. So you can order a box, cancel after that first box, whatever you want to do. No commitments. Great pre-prepared meals, super, super healthy and delicious. And that's the land I was going to get with this, but I guess we're not going to get it now. So that's okay. We can still get an island. Or a forest. Did we play first? We sure did. We sure did. Very cool company. Support them and support Frank. Super Fritz knows what's up. I concur. So yeah, midday through the day on April and on August 3rd is the last time to sign up. So be sure if you want to sign up, if you want to support the channel, it's, it's a great time to do it in the next 24 hours, I would say. Looks like we've got an Esper deck here. Is it possible to not draft a three color deck in this format? Does not seem like it. We really do want a third, a fourth land. So ideally they play something. They're going to play a brine, briny cutthroat. Yep. So much brine. Esper, I barely know her. That's true. He's not wrong. We could bounce this guy. It doesn't really matter when we bounce it. If we bounce it EOT, they just replay it. If we bounce it now, they just replay it. I think we get a mountain because it gives us double red, double blue, and double green. Uh -huh. Put it back in your hand unless you want to counter this. Countering this seems really weird. I'm literally just preventing two and cycling. That's weird. That's, that's, that's actually probably better for us, to be quite honest. Because now they don't get to counter Gary. Yeah, like that was really good for us. I mean, Repulses does nothing. Like, you just replay it. Like, I just took two damage. I was just trying to dig for that fourth land, but we got it anyway, so joke's on them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes I just lose stuff that's on my desk. I'm like, where'd this thing go? Fascinating. Oh, I found it. It's a little nail clipper. I'm just trying to get a cuticle here. Got it. So, like, even if they kill Garrick, it's still a two-for-one. So... And they did not. And they discarded a card for that guy? That's a that's a wild a wild thing to do.
looking for a tool to hurt yourself with, buddy. You know it. Did they ever remove soul too? No, but I'm the wolf master. Y'all ever taste Diet Coke? I'm tasting it right now. God, there's so much Diet Coke being sold in the world. They're going to do something. They're going to deal three damage. An amount of three damage to me. Oh, they just beast within. I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like it puts you very far ahead. Also, why wouldn't you do it on... You should have done it on my turn, and that way I don't get to attack with this beast. But now I do. Isn't that wild? Cavalier of Thorns. Oh, Dream Raid Cascade? Always. Always be cascading, you know what I mean? Strawberry Cream Dr. Pepper. It is the gentleman's choice. It's the best, dude. This drink has impressed me so much. Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream, zero sugar. It's amazing. It's like a zero calorie dessert in a can. Fucking fantastic. What a fantastic drink. So good. You're going to kill my wolf? For four mana? Bro. I'll trade a wolf for a Mastercore, and then when the Mastercore comes back, I'll use my other wolf to deal two more damage to it, and then it dies forever. This guy only costs six, which is wild. A 7-7 seven, seven flash reach deals two damage to each creature flying or each player for only six mana in this economy. Can you believe it? This is 11. I can deal 11. Even if they take it all, we can't kill them. That's unfortunate. So they might as well, might as well just go. Go 8 here. I guess I should have just killed that. There was no incentive not to. What a dumb dumb. I'm like, well now I can save it. Well, it doesn't really matter. They would have been at 7. Three, six, eleven. I guess we still have lethal on board. We got 13. Plus a cloud thresher, which actually puts them to 10. And it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. The best thing they could do for us right now is play a 6-mana 5-1 flyer. Oh, okay. We just win the game, I guess. This deck seems good. This deck has felt... Felt decent. I have two lands that can cast a Llanowar Elf. Neither of them can do it on turn one. Still going to keep this hand. Because we don't have a 3-drop, we do have a 4-drop, so it should be still fine.
<laughs> you better cast that bad boy now while you can. See, that's a funny Cloud Thresher joke. Um, I guess we're just land or elfing, right? Did they board into a different... What were they playing last game? I guess we saw Lesser Masticore. Brine, Cutthroat Boy. You gonna kill this guy? That's messed up. Is this a Fire Ice? Freddy Cam's going off. And the discard of Genesis. How fortuitous. We're just going to make a wolf here because if we kill them, this comes back as a 1-1 one, one, and then Garrick is dead. Look for the look toward the future, you know. So long, Phil. Wow. So it's funny you said that because in my head I was like, "Oh God, did Phil Collins die?" Because Pee Wee Herman just died. Paul Rubens, and that actually hits me pretty hard. I was a kid that that grew up on Pee Wee's Playhouse, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Big Top Pee Wee, and fuck, man, just brutal. Oh, you just win this match. Dude, this Garrick is OP in this cube. They can't they gotta they gotta nerf him or take him out. He can't be in this cube. All right, round three. Uh, keep it. I'm just going to start with this guy. Getting these tap lands out of the hand is nice. Just get out of here. I watched Fuse Playoffs every day. Dude, same. Lawrence Fishburne was on there. God damn. So we want to get a second green here with this with this goblos. Oh, never mind, we got it. <laughs> so now I'm tempted to get like a wood elf or a three drop. Let's go get a three. No, we can't. I meant a land war elf, and I don't know why. I think we're just gonna go sprouting goblin here, and then keep up mystic snake next turn. That seems good, right? Okay, so we have two green, three red, two blue. I think we just want another green here. Yeah, especially with Cloud Thresher. So next turn we'll play this, keep up this guy. Then maybe we can go this. And then eventually maybe a Cloud Thresher is in our future. Not with this mana base, am I right? <laughs> No, but I mean, probably. Uh, no blocks. Oh, good. Of course, they have a ninjutsu guy. Yep, that's a good one. I guess it only hits once. 
And Thalico Seer draws them a card too. Good grief. Isn't it Mecha like a high? I thought it was Mecha like a high, Mecha high, Mecha hiney ho. But I could be wrong because it's been hmm, 30 years, so hard to say. Okay, we got a repulse. I'm just going to pass here because I don't feel like having this deep hours kick me in the, in the dick. Probably will anyway, but that's okay. Old Shrieky McGeeky. So what if we bounce our own goblin here? This is a next level play if they don't have an answer. Because now they have to kill their own Ninja of the Deep Hours. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Fucking gangsta. So long. Um, I kind of just want to escape here. But we have so many cards. But I guess like it's not hurting us and we get to play a second land off this. Could also just keep a Mystic Snake in the future. I'd rather have something on board before I do that, though. We'll just play this fat guy. Oh, no! Everybody I play has removed soul! Man, should have went with Escape to the Wilds. So that's good. So if I went Mystic Snake to counter the Shriek Maw, they would have actually been able to... They would have been able to counter it. So that worked out well with the Repulse. One, two, three, four, five. We get to play two lands. Or we can go get a four drop. And it could just be Polychronos at worst. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Man, I totally forgot it was Wednesday, my dudes. I think we do just get Poluki. I mean, at worst, right? Like, we could also search. I don't know exactly what, what our options are. Sunny day, it'll burn your throat. Oh, good. Fantastic. Well... They only have three cards, and we have five, one of which is an escape. So one, two, three, four, five. I want to get to a point where we can cast escape and still keep Mystic Snake up. So we're like one mana away from that. We do nine total. And we can put two into play off of this. Oh, another, another ninjutsu card. Fantastic. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Thalico Seer was such a relevant piece of your entire entire life. Yep, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually can't get a green with this anymore because the taiga is here. Oh, 
the problem is we have to put something down. Mystic Snake doesn't do it. Sprouting Goblin doesn't do it. I think we're just actually going to... I think we just have to play this right now. All right. Bronto McDonto. Green. Green. This guy doesn't block very well, though. Like, I'd almost rather have Sprouting Goblin here. Just because I'm chumping instead of taking 10. It's 3 4, right? Just I want to make sure. Let's get another island, I guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now I'll just get another forest. I mean, we don't have any other creatures in our graveyard, which is nice. But we still have to block, because I think if we block here, and this guy goes to the graveyard, then this guy triggers. So. You know. We know they have a Thalicos Seer. Yep, that was the one card we knew, I think. And they keep drawing a card whenever that guy leaves. Which is really good. This is a lot of creatures. Where's a Blasphemous Act when you need it? That's not it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think that's probably game. Wow, I felt like I was doing really well. Especially when they Shriek mod their own creature. Joke's on me, I guess. Yeah, none of these sideboard cards seem super impressive. Yeah, I mean, they, they draw, like... They, as long as they have Thalicos here, like, every ninjutsu creature they draw is going to hit, so... Why not land a war into Wood Elves? into crew fix. That's not great. Not a great hand. Mm, better, but... So we can't get a blue source of this. We can get a green source. So I'm just going to pitch... Actually, we can get a taiga, so maybe I just want to pitch mountain. Yeah, let's do mountain. <laughs> Fantastic. Remember when I said there's not really a theme in this cube? Maybe there is. Maybe there's some loose themes here. Here comes Ninja the Deep Hours. Yep, never. Oh, just a Terramander, huh? Okay. Well. What else being able to search for dual lands is just so good. Such a such a gift. Uh I do not play D D no. I glanced at a comment you made. What does that mean? What comment? What was the comment? Just tell me what the comment was. Tell me where it was. Give me more information. So, they have five cards. We have a Master of the Wild Hunt. I have a Mystic Snake. I'm just going to keep Mystic Snake up. And we're going to attack because we can't block. Unfortunately, you cannot um, Mystic Snake a Ninjutsu creature. <laughs> I 
I mean, I really just don't want to play a guy here because it just doesn't feel great. But I'm going to do it anyway. It survived. For now. Shriek Maw. Full value. Full value Shriek Maw. Yep. So, one, two, three, four. No attackers. Well, we know they're going to ninjutsu and inkai's here because it would be too it would be too easy if I just actually three would this draft. <laughs> so you might as well get my creatures out. Yeah, good times. You always have to have the exact cards you need. Everybody knows that. Um, one, two, three. Uh, let's say green. Let's get another one. Jesus Hunter. And of course, I have the mana for it. I just don't have enough green for it. How oh, wonderful. Maybe I should cuddle a squish maw. I don't know. This felt like a real 3-0 deck, but then all of a sudden, like, they get literally evasive creature into ink eyes every game. So. Fuck off. Yep. What is a squish mallow? Oh my god, Stuart, get it together. Get it together. I'm really surprised they didn't kill this guy. Huh. Wasn't that fascinating? Hmm. 
Yeah, we literally found a, an unopened Miracle Whip in our pantry that expired in 2020. Huh. They're so close to death right now. But I think so are we. And they have removed soul up, so I guess we're probably dead. So if we cast this guy, we block here. We take three, four, five, six. If they have absolutely nothing. I mean, let's just assume, right? They obviously have removed soul. Didn't have the remove soul. I didn't have a land, unfortunately. So any removal spell here. They just kill our mystic snake. I think that removes the wolf token, though. Thank you. Sure, Garner. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. I also assumed it was regen mana, but I mean, I'm not going to discount the fact that they could have... Remove soul. God, if they were, if they were one life lower, we could cloud thresher and kill them. <laughs> kind of funny. Thank you, Shua Garner with the gifted subs. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. We will not be spending this, however, on miracle whip. Just to be clear. Thank you, clerical whip. Thank you. Thank you. God, they're really taking Thank their time you. here. The real miracle was the subs we got along the way. See, that's a, that's a nice double entendre where it could be subs as in sandwiches with Miracle Whip. Or it could be subscribers, gifted subs. Really a lot of, a lot of room there for interpretation, you know. I'm basically a modern day Shakespeare. I, you know, I never doubted it for a second. I think this round is over, but our opponent is insisting that it's not. He's like, hey, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a real T -t today, Junior moment. <laughs> oh, good times. Great oldies. What is this? Okay, just change your mind. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. This is like the biggest decision they've had to make, I guess. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm basically tapped out. I don't know why this is so complicated. What are they? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm taking eight. Like, what's the... No, I'm taking six right now. And any removal from Nath, and this is academic. I don't... Ready? Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Huh? Huh? Oh, no? Okay. No? Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello? Wait, does Omnath... Oh, Omnath triggers on his own death. 
See, that's an interesting fact. That I did not realize. I thought it was just the elementals he makes along the way. <laughs> I thought the real... Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking amazing, dude. Congratulations. Wow, this, wow, this has just, just been, been such, such a pleasure. pleasure. I, I'm, I'm such, such a lucky, lucky boy. boy. I, can't I can't wait, wait to, to go home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.